The Soul ST90 is notable for its motorized slat belt design. Soul has taken precautions to make the ST90 safe in addition to creating a challenging walk or run. Welcome to TreadmillReviews.com. I'm Kaylee and today I'm reviewing the Soul ST90, a really intriguing motorized slat belt treadmill. This type of belt is more common on manual treadmills, but it provides a unique underfoot experience for walkers and runners on a motorized treadmill. Slat belt treadmills pose hazards not found on traditional motorized treadmills, but Soul has taken several steps to ensuring that the Soul ST90 is safe. So it makes a great alternative for walkers or runners who wanted that recalled Peloton Tread Plus. The ST90 is one interesting treadmill with motorized and manual features, smart entertainment and training content, and a slat belt design. If you want to learn more about the Soul ST90, like this video and subscribe to our channel. TreadmillReviews.com is passionate about providing the best treadmill and fitness equipment reviews possible and we have more reviews for you to check out on our channel and on our website. If there's a product that you want to see us review, let us know. The ST90 is a premium treadmill. It's a huge diversion from Soul's typical treadmills with its non-folding frame and slat belt. The running surface is 20 inches wide by 60 inches long and has a substantial step-up height of around 10 inches. I'll get into how the ST90's belt feels to run on later, but one of the advantages of a slat belt treadmill is the unique cushioning. It's challenging because it doesn't provide the same springiness as other treadmills, but it does provide decent shock absorption. The slats do move further apart as they move around the curved end of the deck. Soul has placed a safety guard to help prevent things from being pulled under the deck, but I still recommend keeping the area around the treadmill clear. You also want to keep pets and children away from the ST90, as you should with any treadmill. The ST90 has a child lock that prevents the treadmill from being started easily. The deck also has sensors to detect when a user is on it, and it will stop if no activity is detected for 10 seconds. The ST90 has great performance features with a speed range of zero to 12 and a half miles per hour, and then up to 15% incline. There's also free mode, this is what Soul calls the mode that the ST90 uses to manually disengage the motor, so you're turning the belt. When you train in free mode, the incline is limited to 8%, and a higher incline makes it easier to move the belt. The motor is located under the deck and is two horsepower AC motor. Most home treadmills have a DC motor, while AC motors are more common on commercial treadmills. We don't apply our same three horsepower standard to AC motors because the ST90 is clearly designed for running as well as walking, and it performs well for short and long runs daily. The ST90 is not a folding treadmill, so you will need a large space to store it. Its footprint is 74 inches long, 33 and a half inches wide, and 70 inches tall. The construction is kind of reminiscent of the Peloton Tread Plus. The Z-shaped frame is covered by a five-year warranty. I'm a little disappointed with Soul's warranty for the ST90. The motor is also covered for five years, the deck and electronics are covered for just three years, and parts and labor only for one. Soul's other treadmills are covered by lifetime warranties on the frame and motor, so it's disappointing that one of the most expensive treadmills Soul offers has a less impressive warranty. The Soul ST90 is a unique treadmill for runners who prefer a cushioned but challenging slat belt. You'll need plenty of space for this treadmill, but it has such impressive training options that you'll want to find the room. The ST90's console is a lot, but I'm going to go over all of it, and if you want more details about the features, check out my written review on treadmillreviews.com. From top to bottom, you have a tablet rack, which will hold a phone or larger device. 
Then you have the most important feature, the touch screen. It's 15.6 inches, which is plenty of space for navigating and viewing content. While having a tablet rack is great, the built-in display has a lot of versatility. There are preloaded streaming and entertainment apps. You can also screen mirror your Apple or Android screen to the Soul ST90, so your viewing options are pretty much unlimited. There are speed and incline buttons along the sides of the screen. Unfortunately, not every level is represented, so it's not quite as easy to jump to the exact incline or speed level you want. Speakers are just below the screen. These are front-facing and Bluetooth. You can hook up your smart device to the speakers to listen to music, entertainment, or training content. It's also perfect for when you're using the screen mirroring feature. Another key feature for the screen mirroring is the wireless charging pad. If your device is compatible, then Soul has you covered for the longest of your training sessions. There is a fan, but it's pretty ineffective. This is one thing that Soul could improve upon on the console. The fan points away from the user on the deck, and the power is pretty weak. Remedy this by adding a floor fan to your training area. The other features are pretty standard that you would find on other home treadmills. There are two cup holders and small item compartments. You have your start and stop buttons and a safety key. A safety bar is in the front of the console and keeps the user supported and far enough away from the front edge of the treadmill. There are also pulse grips on this handle, but I would prefer to use the Bluetooth connectivity to pair a wearable heart rate monitor. Most Bluetooth monitors should connect to the ST90. Lastly, there are knobs on the treadmill arms for further adjusting the speed and incline. You have to hold them down a little bit longer than expected to get the speed or incline to adjust faster, but it's a remedy to the lack of quick adjust buttons. The SD90 has many features. It's hard to touch on all of them, and it's one of the things that makes it such a great treadmill. Soul doesn't require a subscription to use its onboard content, but there are third-party apps preloaded onto the ST90's console that may require their own subscription. You might have some of these apps already for entertainment platforms like Netflix and Hulu. There's even a subscription training platform called KinoMap where you can follow along with structured workouts and virtual runs. KinoMap has some free content, so it's worth checking out. The onboard training programs on the ST90 include fitness tests, hill workouts, and interval runs. You can even customize your own workouts or save a completed workout as a template for the next time. If you want to use the free mode, which allows you to walk or sled push as if the ST90 were a manual treadmill, you can turn on this feature from the home screen. The incline will still adjust from 0 to 8%. The ST90 screen mirroring feature lets you view just about any content you want, so the treadmill's training potential is practically limitless. If you're looking for a premium slat belt treadmill with extensive content options, look no further than the Soul ST90. Walkers and runners are going to love this treadmill's features. However, it's lacking in a few areas, such as not having a decline option or built-in trainer-led classes. The deck is cushioned, but it isn't bouncy, so it almost feels harder to exercise on. Think running on sand. There's even a manual walk and sled push mode called free mode. It's perfect for the user looking for a really intense workout with great training variety. Thanks so much for watching my review of the Soul ST90. Like and subscribe if you want to learn more about home fitness equipment. You can also check the links in the description to read my full written review on the SD90 or check out its current pricing. I'm Kaylee from treadmillreviews.com and thanks again for watching.